Hi, I'm Heidi Johnson, the Dane County Crops and Soils Educator for the University of Wisconsin Extension. We grow a lot of corn silage in Wisconsin and it's one of the most important places that we can use cover crops. This is because the harvest of corn silage leaves very little residue, so cover crops can play an important role in preventing soil erosion. Corn silage harvest also results in taking off a lot of carbon. Cover crops give us an opportunity to return carbon to the soil and protect soil organic matter. Lastly, corn silage ground often receives a manure application. Using cover crops can help us keep manure in place so it's not leaving fields and causing environmental damages. It also helps to keep manure in place so we can take nutrient credits and offset some of our fertilizer costs. Because corn silage is harvested so much earlier than corn for grain and soybeans, it provides us an opportunity to grow cover crops for a longer period of time in the fall. This also gives us more choices for cover crops. So generally we recommend uh, several key cover crops for use after corn silage. Oats or barley are two cover crops that are going to die out over the winter. And then triticale, rye, and wheat are three cover crops that are going to survive the winter. All of these cover crops work well because they can grow down to a very low degree, so they can grow for as long as possible in the fall. They all pro provide good winter cover for the soil to prevent soil erosion. Because oats and barley will die out during the winter, we do want to make sure those get planted as early as possible. Our general rule is to try farmers to try to get them in by early to mid-September. We can do that a couple different ways with a ground rig like a high boy or also aerially apply with a helicopter or an airplane. The nice thing about aerially applying cover crops is that it doesn't depend on soil conditions for the helicopter or the airplane to be able to run. The important thing to remember when you seed cover crops into a standing corn silage crop is that you need moisture. Because the cover crop is just landing on the soil surface, you need a good rain after seeding to have, help the cover crop get up and start growing. If it doesn't rain, the cover crop seed will tend to just sit there. The other thing to remember is that the corn silage needs to be harvested in a timely manner. We often recommend that farmers try to seed no more than two weeks prior to corn silage harvest. This is because it's very dark in the corn silage canopy and the cover crop really struggles for light if it goes for more than two weeks. What we see is the cover crop gets very, very long and then tends to run out of sunlight and falls over in the canopy and doesn't survive. So we recommend that farmers try to time things out that their corn silage harvest is no more than two weeks before they're going to get the cover crop seeded. This is a spring barley cover crop that was seeded by airplane 14 days ago today. This silage field is getting harvested today and you can see the cover crop looks a little bit spindly from lack of sunlight but now that the corn silage is take, being taken off it's going to get plenty of sunlight and it'll start to grow really quickly and cover the field. The nice thing is that we don't have to wait for the cover crop to get seeded now after harvest. It's already here, has a head start, and can take advantage of the rest of the season.